So you've tracked down the missing human in the city ruins and now it's time for you to face the second boss of Code Vein, the Butterfly of Delirium. You'll likely have a tougher time with the Butterfly as she is much faster than Oliver and every attack builds your poison meter. There's a fair few moves to the Butterfly so let's have a look at what you can expect to see. First up there's a swinging tail attack that is followed up by a tail lunge. Next is a double tail swing where the tail swings at you in one direction and right back at you in the opposite way. A single tail swipe which is pretty self explanatory. A tail pursuit move where the tail appears in front of the butterfly and the next thing you see is it snaking towards you. An AOE attack where the butterfly will wrap her wings around her for a few seconds which leads to a small blast that leaves a poisonous cloud hanging around her for a few seconds. After you get rid of about a quarter of the health, the butterfly is going to collapse to the ground for a few seconds. You can use this time to either get a few hits in or heal up and sort any poison effects that have built up. Once the butterfly is back in there, the stronger attacks become more frequent, so you can now expect to see more of these. A poison mist spray where the butterfly's tail will spray a poison mist for a few seconds. And if you're far enough away, the butterfly will lob five poisonous orbs at you that fan out and eventually fall to the ground. A second poisonous orb move where the butterfly will spin and send out loads of poisonous orbs in random waves. And the third poisonous orb move which is a homing poisonous orb which will follow you around the arena for a few seconds until it disappears. Now on to a strategy. Before you start you want to stock up on poison resistant and poison reducing items or you can unlock the venom resistance and venom removal gifts from the mercury blood code that you get from Coco at home base. Also make sure to bring Giacomo as he is best suited for this fight. Now the butterfly is averse to fire and there are a good few items and gifts that are going to help you with this fight. You can either pick up items from Coco back at home base that adds flame damage to your cut weapon or you can learn Flame Weapon Gift from Louis Blood Code, as well as the Fire Storm Gift that shoots a series of flaming projectiles and can also stagger the enemy. Fire Storm is also really low in icon cost and doesn't take long to recharge. Now I'd recommend fighting this at range because the melee attacks in the butterfly are fast and devastating when you couple them with being poisoned. A melee fight can be won but it's going to be pretty hard fought if you cannot get the poison under control and dodge those attacks perfectly. So if you do decide to go ranged, just keep an eye on your health and keep your poison meter under control and let Yakumo do all the heavy lifting. If you don't want to go for the melee approach you're going to want to make sure that your dodging's up to scratch. You're also going to want to stay as close as possible to the butterfly as sometimes when the tail swings it's going to miss. This is going to give you a precious few seconds to get some hits in or quickly heal. The only thing with staying closer is you're going to be seeing AOE attacks appear more often, so keep an eye out for those cues and make sure you've got enough stamina to get out of there if you need to. Remember to keep yourself stocked up with items that are going to add flame damage to your weapon and items that are going to reduce or remove venom. If you decide you're going to go down the route of using gifts, then make sure you've got enough items that are going to replenish your Ico bar. Whichever route you decide to go, it won't be long until you've dealt the finishing blow to the butterfly and you'll have doubled the amount of bosses you've defeated. Won't be long now until you're facing the third boss of Cold Vein, the insatiable despot. 